Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'm going to show you a pro trick that they use for portraits to make the eyes and lips pop out of your picture. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is one of the pictures that I'm finished with and I'd like to thank the Code Poet over at Creative Commons and Flickr for using this photo. Now if you look down here on the layers palette on the right hand side you can see that I have one picture that's the untouched picture in the background and then I have an adjustment or another picture on top with a little mask on there and you can see a little bit on the eyes where I've made the eyes and lips pop through. So let's go ahead and delete this one right here and let's show you how this is done. Got rid of that layer here. Now this is a good photo right here. I really like this portrait but what we're going to do is we're going to sharpen it a little bit and how we do that is the infamous command or control J depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC and that creates a new layer. Now we can do whatever we want with this layer now. In Photoshop Elements you have to go to the enhance and that is where the unsharp mask is. Now if you're using Photoshop you go to the filter you go under sharpen and it's under sharpen unsharp mask so it doesn't matter which version you're using just get to the unsharp mask and as you can see there will be a preview right here. What I want to do is I want to drive this down, this picture right here, so that I can see the eyes. Now, I use about 100%. We are going to exaggerate the sharpness here. I'm going to use 100% and a radius of 1.4 pixels. Leave this preview checked right there. You can take a look at it and then select OK. Now, this is a little bit over saturated or over sharpened right here and it's not going to look very good if we use this but we're going to play around with the opacity and what's going to make it look nice. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go under the enhance going to go to adjust color and we're going to adjust the hue and saturation right here. Command or control U will also get you there. Now I'm going to bump this up the saturation just so that the lips get a little bit saturated up to about a plus 11. I'm going to select OK. So that's looking nice, except that it's a little bit too sharp for the picture. Now this is the part where you can add a layer mask. You go down to your layers, and this is the layer mask. Now if you don't have layer masks in Photoshop Elements 8, what you can do right now is that you can start erasing with the eraser tool everything but her eyes right there. I like using the layer mask because you can take away and put back. So let's go ahead and click on the layer mask right there. The next thing we're going to do is it's selected as white. So what we need to do is we need to get black in the foreground here and we're going to edit and we're going to fill that right there. Fill this with black. Select OK. And as you can see what's immediately going to happen is, is it's going to revert to the original picture which is a little bit softer. Now we need to grab a paintbrush which is over here. That's our paintbrush and then select one with a nice soft edge to it which I've already got so I've got if you hover over these things you can see it says soft round and you pick one of these now it's a little bit too big right there so I'm going to use the left bracket key Go ahead and click on something there the left bracket key is going to make that smaller and you want it a little bit smaller than her eye so that you can go ahead and paint around the eye right there. The next thing we need to do is we need to get white back in the foreground. So you can either click on the X on your keyboard or use this little arrow thing to switch white back. Then wherever you paint is going to pop this sharpened picture through. So let's go ahead and start painting here and as you start painting you're going to notice that the eyes start becoming nice and bright and sharpened right there. Now some photographers do this a little bit too much and you can see that they are over saturated or over sharpened. Now some people like that. I'm going to go ahead and do this with her lips as well. It's going to make them a little bit more shiny and a little bit more red as we see right there. Now this is a nice looking photo and it really captures the eyes but the only problem is is this looks a little bit too fake. So now that's where we go over here to the opacity and we can select down and then I like to get it about 38 or so but I'm going to select all the way down to zero and what that is is that's our original picture. 
and then just kind of bump it up until the eyes kind of pop out there until they're nice and sharp. This time around it's about 39 for me, but this picture looks really nice and it draws you into the portrait because it's got sharp eyes right here and sharp lips. So that's your Photoshop Elements trick of the day that Photoshop professionals like to use. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, and pass on the link to your friends. Cheers!